All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review. All right, so let me see here. This was the heated throw blanket. It's normally $29.99 and they had a $6 discount. So basically $24, all right? Here you can see it says Brookstone heated throw. Okay, it's a 50 inch by 60 inch. So four foot, two inches by five feet. All right, here you can see the centimeter measurements, All right? Okay, four heat settings, ultra soft, safe four hour auto shut off. So you can't really leave it on overnight the entire time you're sleeping. It'll only stay on for like four hours. Okay, um, there's a built-in remote into here. So we'll see how that works. Five year warranty. All right, I'm not sure what it war warranties. If it breaks, I don't think so. It's usually only if it's like defective so I don't know how after five years it would just randomly be defective but here you can see four hour auto shut off four heat settings okay all right here you go super soft comfort keeps you warm and cozy all right warm comfort plush fabric provides ultimate comfort for cooler temperatures all right four heat settings here you go Safety shut off, all right. It says, for while you sleep. So my brother was joking about it. He said, wait, so you're telling me I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night after four hours wondering why it's so cold? <laughs> so, uh, but here you see easy care, machine wash, dryer safe, and the label will show the uh, care instructions. Okay, so the material is soft, but you can actually feel the wires in it. So if I like, push on it you can actually feel the wires if it's just like laying on top of you it's probably okay um, but I don't know if you're like laying on it on a soft surface you're probably gonna um, feel the wires okay Brookstone trademark names here you can read all of that stuff and that right five-year warranty here you go they actually tell you what the warranty covers all right it'll be replaced or repaired um, Okay, they get to decide. So if it's a defect in workmanship or materials, and as long as it shows you didn't misuse it and it's not ripped or torn. So if you rip or tear it, then the warranty won't cover it. But I guess if the strings unravel or something, maybe the threads come apart. All right, it says as long as you follow it and then you have to send it back with the manufacturer's label intact. So don't rip off the labels or cut them off and make sure to keep your receipt. Okay, so you open it. There's this little tab that you can pull out. Let me just lift this up. Okay, I have the camera in front of me. So, excuse me, so it's a little difficult to do this. Okay, comes like this. All right, get that piece of paper out. All right, I'm trying to pull this out and to keep it all intact. Um, this is actually for my brother because he usually gets cold. I don't really get cold. Um, so this is an early Christmas gift, I guess. All right, there's the one of those anti-oxygen, whatever, oxygen absorber things. I don't know how well that works since there's a big opening right here, but um, they do put one of those. Okay, so here you can see it's like rolled up in this square shape. So I guess you open it like that. So that's how they rolled it let me zoom out a bit so you guys can see oh now you can see all this stuff over here this all right anyways it rolls out like that and then it looks like they folded it over that way and then they folded it like that there we go and just like that okay so here you can see the cable so this is a very long cable. I don't I don't know, they don't say how long it is, but the cable seems pretty long. So as long as you have a cable somewhat nearby, you're probably okay. Alright, so they got some twist ties holding this stuff in place. I'm just gonna undo the twist ties. And let me zoom back in a bit. You don't need to see my knee and stuff. Alright. So I don't know if I can measure this cable. It's super long. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna see if I can get a somewhat 
somewhat of a measurement of this cable. It's not going to be an exact measurement, but hopefully it will be at least somewhat of a good... <sighs> okay, I'm going to just measure it using my, my own height, I guess. All right. So this cable, let's see, that's about five something. All right, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to say it's about 14 to 15 feet long. I'm going to plug this in the wall right now. Um, there's this label here. I don't know what that means, but maybe somebody knows and wants to see some classifications or something, specifications. Okay, let's plug that in. Okay, so, I don't know, maybe that outlet's broken. <laughs> Um, I think there's supposed to be a red light here, but nothing is showing up. Um, this looks weird. I don't think it's supposed to have this, so maybe this is defective. There's like some melted looking plastic stuff here. Can I just peel that off? I guess I can, so hopefully it's okay. There was this melted plastic stuff on it. Okay. All right, let's see here. So this, is it detachable? I think this plug is, it should be if you can throw it in the washing machine. So I'm gonna pinch these two and pull this. Yep, okay, so it's held in with these two clips here. All right, and I mean, I guess you can wash it. So here it says, connect this cord to blanket first before plugging into wall outlet. Oops, I guess I shouldn't have unplugged this while it was still, there you go. Okay, and then it also has, I believe that's Spanish. Okay. Okay, I don't know if that outlet works. Let me find another outlet. Um, I don't see the button. There's this little label here, Brookstone. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, here's the long list of care instructions. I guess you can't take that off. Let me see here. Are there any other labels or anything to show okay here's the power button so it's completely um away from the the plug is here and then all the way on the other side you got this power button oh it came with some instructions wrapped up inside here as well it looks like okay so we're gonna go over that later um for now let's go ahead and look at this let me bring my camera down it's too high for me to see Okay, so we got this label. I don't know if you guys can read all of that. Maybe I'll just read some of it. So, heated throw, 100% polyester. It says to read it carefully. Read the instructions carefully. It's hard to hold this for you guys to see. Okay. So, it says to read the enclosed user manual. Okay, ensure the following precautions. Okay, overheating and fire dangers. Read all instructions. Do not use this with infants, so don't use this with babies. Uh, do not use this product on any individual who is insensitive to heat or has poor blood circulation. Don't they mean sensitive? Why does it say insensitive? Do not use if diabetic. Huh. So if you have diabetes, you're not supposed to use this. Do not use pins. If improper operation of this product is observed, discontinue its use immediately. Huh. Do not use this product with an air mattress. Okay, so apparently uh, maybe the heat will cause the air mattress to overinflate or um, become too soft or something. Okay, it says the product should never be folded, balled up, or bunched in any way when in use. This may result in overheating. Okay. Wrapping of the cord around the controller may damage the cord loop loosely when storing. So a lot of people do that with their electronics and damage the cables. You don't want to wrap it around too tight. 
polarized plug blade. Okay. Um, all right, washing. Disconnect the cord from the product. If you're gonna wash it, do not submerge the cords or power supply or control unit. Machine wash on gentle cycle and in cold water. Do not dry clean this product. Cleaning solvents may damage the wiring insulation. Do not use bleach. Okay. Anything else? Drying. Never plug the product in while it's damp, so make sure it's completely dry. I don't know what happens if you spill something on it, if you're going to get electrocuted. Um, but tumble dry on low heat, okay? And make sure it has enough room to tumble freely. So don't use a commercial dryer. Don't iron this thing and let it line dry uh, over two parallel clotheslines or a shower rod. Okay? You can see the amount of electricity and stuff it uses. They say the size on here and everything. And then they have the same stuff in Spanish. Okay, so I guess I have to open this up because it says not to ball it up. So let's spread this thing out. Okay. Oh shoot, the plug's on the other side, right? Where's the plug? Um, okay, there it is. Okay, so I'm just going to spread this thing out real quick. We're going to plug it in and see, assuming that outlet works, which I'm not sure if it does or not. Okay, we're going to plug this thing back in. Um, I don't think there's a right side up or... Oh, okay, maybe I think there is a right side up. Maybe you have to line up these arrows. I don't know what will happen if you plug it in upside down, but I'm just going to match the arrows together just to be safe. If it goes in, okay, there we go. Again, I don't know what will happen if you line it in upside down. I don't want to try it, but uh, yeah. Okay, let me try plugging this in and see if, if assuming this wall outlet works. There's no lights on it, so I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay, so this thing lights up when you turn it on. So here you can see... It's on four. If I turn it off, this light goes off as well. So this is kind of like just to tell you that it's running. So I'm going to set it to four just so I can test it. And leave it like there. It said not to use it while it's folded or balled up. So I'm going to leave it open like this. And we'll see. Yeah, you can feel all the wires in it. So it might be... I mean, that's 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 how it is with heated blankets and stuff. I don't think there's any way around it. Um, but yeah, you can feel the wires in it. Okay, let me actually, I'm going to sit on this blanket and we're going to, oops, sorry. I guess you're going to be looking at my legs. Let me move this a little bit. I'm just going to sit on this to see if I can feel the warmth. Okay, so they have this. Yeah, they do tell you to, okay, so I probably should have done this first to look at the instructions. Do not plug into wall outlet until you connect the controller cord to the connector. So here you go. Locate the connector. Okay, so make sure you plug it in. Okay, align the arrows. Okay. And then plug it in the wall outlet. And then they have it in Spanish as well. Okay, I can feel it warming up. Okay, so here you go. Same thing. Let's actually zoom out a bit here. Is that? No, that's going to be bad. Okay, so we're going to just see if I can show you this. I know there's a lot of glare. Um, I don't think there's anything important on here other than that. I probably already went over all the stuff. I'm just going to show you guys this real quick. You can pause if you want to read anything. Okay, they tell you to plug it in the regular outlet, of course. Okay. Don't leave the cables all tangled, trapped, or pinched, all right? You want to make sure the cables are out properly. And it says don't, um, that don't trap the thing between a mattress or a box spring, sofa cushions, against the wall or furniture. I think that's just for the cord. Okay, do not wrap the controller in the product when in use. So you don't want to wrap this, 
this giant thing, I guess, in the blanket because you don't want that to get all overheated. Okay, to disconnect the controller, first unplug the cord from the outlet. Okay, and then pinch the sides to pull it apart. I don't know what important instructions there will be in here. Okay, so it's very straightforward. Just push the power button to change the different heat modes. Okay, I guess you can read this. Hopefully the glare is not going to make it too difficult to see. Okay, and if it's not connected properly, it will the light will start blinking. Auto shut off feature. Okay. For safety and energy conservation. And to turn it back on, just turn it back on. Alright. Okay. Troubleshooting. What to do if the thing is flashing. If it's lit but not heating up. Here you can read all of this stuff. Okay. Okay. Alright, so you guys can pause and read that. I was kind of just reading a little bit over it. Alright, so important instructions that they say. Again, this is this stuff probably isn't important to many of you guys, but I like to show it just in case somebody wants to see it. Um, it says not to use with a generator, so... Okay. Let's see... So don't use with an air mattress, don't use with infants, I already read that stuff. Um, again, we read all the diabetic and stuff here. I don't know why di people that are diabetic can't use this. Is it bad to be warm? I don't know. Um, okay, and it says don't use an extension cord. Um, and it says, do not put other bedding like quilts, blankets, comforters on top of the heated blanket. The hot air gets trapped between the layers. But wouldn't that be a nice thing? Like, if I were using this, I would put it on underneath, lay on top, and then, and then put a blanket on top and use that to heat up in between the layers. But it says not to do that. Okay. You can read all this other stuff. I don't think uh, any of this is important. Okay. Okay, so we only have to go over the these three pages. So it's already getting pretty warm. It's, it's nice and cozy. Again, you do feel like the wires running through it. So it's like a thicker um, string kind of, I don't know how you would compare it to something else but you can definitely feel like the thick wires like running through this whole thing and those are the parts that heat up all right so there we go again don't plug this in while damp or you can probably get yourself electrocuted all right don't submerge the power cord and here's the drying stuff we already went over all of that Storage, okay? Store folded in a dry place. Product should never be balled up or bunched in any way. Okay. Loop cord loosely when storing. All right, and then here they talk about the warranty, and that's pretty much it. So, all right. And I think the rest is just other languages. I don't know if there's more than that because the Spanish one seems to be longer. Maybe there, I think it one's Spanish and one is French. But anyways, that's pretty much all there is to this. Hopefully this video helped you guys decide if you like this. It's not like purely white. I mean, if you're in the store, oh, here you can see the bottom is all white. But then here is kind of like a, I don't know what color you would call this. It's kind of like, yeah, I don't know. You can look in the camera and kind of decide. It has this like yellowish um tannish i don't know I, too bad they didn't just make it all pure white but anyways i guess this will kind of hide stains and stuff if you dirty it and then when you wash it but anyways this is nice and soft this side is even nicer and softer um i think 
most people will know what this kind of material feels like. Um, yep. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys decide if you wanted to buy and try this thing. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.